I've been here for five years now. Prior to this club, I was at West Ham, Watford, Charlton, UPR, all in the same role. Bob is the big dog. He's probably the most revered, most celebrated kit man, not probably and only in English football, probably European football, and probably touching across America. Executive kit man, probably sort of, yeah, directorship level kit man. It's probably where he's at now, yeah. <laughs> My assistant, Jazz, I think she's only not one, just a handful of kit ladies in the industry. Men intimidate me, otherwise I won't be here. <laughs> there is actually an annual Bob Festival in Columbia every year where people dress up and Bob the kit man mask. Yeah, I've got a collection of shirts over my 20 years in football. This is the new away shirt. It's quite striking. I think it's quite a sexy shirt. It's all about fashion now. It's all about fashion <laughs> and the tight at the top. We now have to travel with a hairdryer and they've all got their individual silver cream hairsprays. There are a few, yeah. I think in China there's like a massive state banquet where they, they burn an effigy of Bob the Kid Man. Now in the one of our kit rooms, you've got goalkeepers, you've got ankle socks, white socks, away shirts, home shirts. This is our active print machine where we can print the player's name number. This is our boot room for the first team, first team dressing room. Right behind you there's a fine list. Kit left out on pitches is £20. Oh, I can see a fine already. <laughs> yeah, so this season's home shirt, it's a lot more striking. The 888 Sport is really bold. Got a great personality, um, you know, and get, takes a bit of ribbon as well. I can't get the start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, always check for a pair of boots. 20 plus years of being a kit man. It's one of those jobs that you need to be methodical in your work, and preparation is key. If you've got that mindset, then you can, you can crack it.